Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now this is a very, very sad and tragic story that I'm going to be sharing with you. Um, you see the title there and you see the couple there. This is just some, some bad news all around. Uh, the world has no end of it. No end of it. Uh, so apparently a groom uh, collapses and uh, dies moment after exchanging vows with his bride. Again. These are some very, very sad times we are living in. I know that death is a part of life, but it doesn't take away the sting, especially for the, the, the ones involved, the loved ones that are left behind. So getting into this story, I mean, this happened moments after they said, I do. Um, it says that uh, Therese Davis, um, age 48, uh, suffered a fatal blood clot um, as he prepared to take wedding photographs with his bride. So it says a wedding in Nebraska turned to tragedy after the groom collapsed during the ceremony and died later in the hospital. Uh, dressed in a vibrant red dress and surrounded by loved ones, Johnny Mae Dennis exchanged vows with her 48-year-old fiancé, Therese Davis, at their wedding in Omaha on June 19th. It says the couple, couple's marital bliss was cut short when Mr. Davis suffered a medical emergency as he prepared to take pictures with his bride mm, mm, mm. says Davis was rushed to the hospital where doctors determined he has suffered a blood clot he later died it was the happiest day of Teresa's life I could see the smile on his face and how happy he was and it's just his energy I just knew that he was just it was a great day for him a friend of the couple, Monica Miller, Monica Miller, told the station. So this is some devastating stuff to happen on your wedding day like this. Um, they said a blood clot. I'm not going to comment too much on that blood clot because um, a lot of people have been leaving here because of something similar, blood clots. So a whole lot can be said about the cause of it. Now... <sighs> it is definitely time for us as a people and people in general to make some changes. Uh, this food is definitely killing folk. Things aren't the same. I know it's not. They are just not the same. Uh, there are things that tasted a certain way decades ago that don't taste the same way now. Now, I did a report some time ago where I was saying that they were saying uh, certain ingredients and certain things that you've come to know and love as, at a certain taste, certain ingredients have been changed. So they've ultimately given you a whole new product because they don't even taste the same, right? This is why we have to take a more active role in growing our own food. And I understand the concerns of those who say, well, even when you grow your own food, uh, they're doing things from the sky. I think you stand a better chance at least trying that than what they are doing. Um, I did see a report the other day about something like that. There was a guy, um, he owned, um, I forget the name of his farm, but he had um, a video here on, on YouTube. I think he was uh, on the news. The news covered his story because uh, all of a sudden, all of his crops just started dying. He went out there the next day and everything was withering up. Everything, the leaves were just dying. And it wasn't from drought or anything like that. He had a very workable, functioning farm. He said it was as if someone sprayed something from above. I thought that was very curious. So with all of those attacks and fiery darts coming from every which way, what does that tell you we must do? We must pray. And more than that, we must pray without ceasing. We must get through to the Father. We must supplicate in prayer. 
And we must bind the work of the enemy because the Bible tells us greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. This food, this this air, all of the stuff that they are doing, even in the clothes, y'all. There are diabolical demons trying to kill folk. But we got to understand one thing, and I've said this before. The things that they are doing were prophesied. And because they were prophesied, there are actual meetings that take place in heaven. When it's, ter- when it's time to unleash a certain trump or pour out a certain vial. Remember the scripture talked about vials being poured out from heaven? And then they got man talking about they got vials that are being emptied out in labs? Could there be some type of relation there? Could there be a correlation? We have to understand that the judgments of the Most High sometimes come in the form of the actions of men. In other words, they go forth out of his mouth. And because they shall not return void, those meetings that take place in heaven, you will have spirits that will volunteer to go down and put a spirit of confusion a lying tongue, a spirit of whatever needs to be had. You see how the scripture tells us, it says, pray that we are not led into temptation. It says, lead us not into temptation. So certain spirits go down to perform the things that the Most High assigns them to perform, to carry out his judgments. I see a lot of Christian folk can't handle that kind of talk because they think of him as only loving and kind. But the Most High said he created evil as well. He says, I'm not only an Elohim of wrath, but an Elohim. I'm sorry, not only an Elohim of goodness, kindness and mercy, but an Elohim of wrath as well. There's more layers to the Most High than just what your pastor told you. That being said, we have got to make sure that our anchor holds and grips a solid rock. We've got to make sure that we stay before him and that we do not allow our minds to be distracted to the point where we are not tending to our soul. (sighs) Condolences to this family, to the bride, for becoming a widow on the same day that she became a wife. This is sad indeed. All I can say is, Abiyah, have mercy on your people and cause them to come back to you, turn their hearts back to you. I'm finished. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.